beautiful morning. We slept next to this all night. Let's listen to it. Put the insulation in because it was a little bit chilly, I thought, but you know what? It never got down below 50. That means in the tent it was 64, 65, so we were comfortable. Little guy's still up there getting a little bit of rest, and I'm making some coffee. Kicking field goal. You're gonna kick a field goal? The Ravens? Kick is good. Awesome. That was a great ball, Brody. Yeah. Wow. Nice catch, too. Brody's been asking every day when you guys were gonna join us. Now I know why. <laughs> Where are we headed, guys? Flat. Here we go. <laughs> Never been there. Greg's been there, so he's gonna hopefully get us up the trail. And we're not gonna break any tires. If so, we've got his spares. So right. good times. All right, let's head out. Down the mountain, out of the snow, go we'll find another mountain with snow. Brody, do you know where we're going? That's right, he's reading the book. I've got my regular speed belt doing it, but I figured I'd put this guy to work just for fun. Greg Aaron up doing a similar deal with his onboard there. Wish I had that. What are you airing him up to? Uh, 30 on the trailer, 32 on the Jeep. I didn't know you had to air down the, the tires. I would have thought you just bounce this thing through the rocks. Uh, you can, but it jitters everything around the sides. Makes sense, yeah. Just, you, know, you want a soft ride, and you want all your stuff down soft rides. <laughs> What was the last thing you told me to take off the Jeep on the way out? Do you remember? Your coffee cup. Take a look at it. How, oh, how the hell did that thing survive? It's still there. Dude, it's still there. It, I cannot believe that. That was not a smooth <laughs> road either. This was not. up and down. High up in the mountains. On our way. Yeah, this trail for about an hour. Yeah, buddy. You can see where we are, but we are 10,000 feet and just look at the plains ahead of us. The mountains, the snow, I've been dreaming about this place for a while. Here we are, Brody's sleeping in the back. He, he slept through this crazy ride up here. In this beautiful mountain meadow we're just driving through. This is, this is ridiculous. This is amazing. We have found Funnel Lake and we are all alone. <laughs> Thought there'd be people here. Thought there'd be crowds. I don't know if there's any fish in there or not, but there might be. I heard there are some times. Nothing else. We got a kayak. What else do we have? Paddleboard. That paddle could be for rescuing. Then, like, if, well, if like I was someone is drowning, you could 
give it to them. Totally. You could hang on. What you doing, Brady? Passing up the boat. <laughs> oh man, getting up here and uh, having the whole place to ourselves is unexpected. Definitely thought there'd be people here. Thought there'd be people here where we are right now. So where we are right now is as far as you can go before getting into wilderness area or whatever. It's marked off by uh, the rangers, so they don't want you taking vehicles any further than this spot. And we got the right one. Yeah, I think so. Let's move on to number two. So we made it up here and uh, Brody is pumping up our boat. I had the refrigerator and everything switched over to the Jeep uh, electrical system as I was driving because your, your engine generates so much electricity. It powers and charges everything. Now I've stopped. This guy right here is totally full because he's been sitting here in the sunlight as we've been driving. I've turned everything off of the Jeep's battery system and I'm powering it now through the Blue Eddy. I think so. It looks pretty much like a boat, doesn't it? There's a couple more places, though, I think you need to put air in. Four and five. You got it. Let's do number four next. Do you know what lake this is? Lake. Uh, funnel? funnel Lake. Yeah, that's right. What would happen if I dropped my phone? Do you think I would lose it forever? Yeah. I, I bet I shouldn't be holding it like this. Well, we are encountering some serious wind. I have the insulation on inside, which is pretty good for blocking out a lot of that wind. And uh, we also have taking off the rain flap. But it is, it's, it's windy, man. Here goes our kayak. Here we go. Yeah. How do you smell that it's clean. I think it doesn't get enough sunlight, maybe. If we got really thirsty and we needed water, would you melt the snow or would you drink from the lake? Drink from the lake. This might actually be better though because there's no animals living in it, whereas the lake might have bugs and algae and stuff. But the, it looks dirty too. It does, but what if we dig into it? Why don't you dig into it? Go kick it and see if you can dig into it. It's melted more where the rocks are. You see that? You think that's because rocks absorb heat yeah. from the sun? Yeah. And they melt through? That it is. All right, check this out. If you dig down, boom! Clear, clean, white snow that you can eat. Sure. Tell me, does it taste dirty? If I needed water, I would come get some of the snow, dig down to where it's clean, and melt it. I well, probably we, boil we it. We could just get be water careful. up there too. We could, but the snow might be better. Why? Because there's no bugs living in it. No, the water from our jeep. Let's go. Show me where we're going. Oh, hiking up the hill. Brody's hiking for exploration. I'm hiking because I heard there was a cell signal up here. On this rock, we have some scat. It's another word for poop, right, Brady? Question is, who put this poop here? Because, you know, I don't think a deer, I don't know if a coyote would come up here. I would think like a mountain lion would come up or something. Bighorn sheep, but it doesn't look like sheep poop. Why mountain lion? I think their poop might look like that, and this might be a spot that the mountain lion would come and just sit around and look. Look, there's some on top of the rock over there, too. So maybe the mountain lion comes up here and just watches, looking for deer or rabbits. Why do they like to eat them? Protein helps them grow. They do not eat humans. Knock, knock, who's there? Please, 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 please let me in. It's cold out here. <laughs> so Brody and I are insulated because it is cold outside. Knock, knock for the last time. Knock, knock, who's there? Hey, what's here? Hey, hey. Tell all your friends about this spot. Can you see this? So it's 55.2 degrees, 42.8 outside. And that's Brody's book. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. This insulation keeps us more than 10 degrees warmer than it is outside. Last night it was like 50 and here it was 65 inside. 
Um, but I have, you know what? I'm gonna go get the buddy heater just in case. What's up, Space Monkey? Hey. And, uh, Mama, you ready for bed? <laughs> All right, those are fun jokes. <laughs> Fucking 